Sesame Street is one of the most famous television shows of all time, with generations of children growing up watching it. And what might be the biggest character from the show is Elmo, but unfortunately in recent years one man has ruined the little puppet's reputation. On November 10th, 1969, the first episode of the television show Sesame Street was aired. But unlike most shows for kids at the time that were solely for entertainment, this one had more than that, since it actually wanted to teach kids while still keeping them entertained. The creators did this by mixing colorful characters, music, and humor to grab a child's attention, but also used scientific research on how to effectively educate them so that they learned without even realizing it. So essentially, Sesame Street made learning fun. To create the puppets that would be used, they brought in Jim Henson to design what are now some of the most iconic characters of all time. The original cast included Big Bird, a very innocent character that's prone to misunderstandings, Oscar, a very grouchy Muppet that lives in a garbage can and was orange in the early episodes for some reason, and the Cookie Monster, a googly-eyed lunatic that's sole purpose is to devour food. What many people don't realize is that even though Elmo is now arguably the most popular of the Sesame Street cast, that wasn't always the case with the puppet starting off as a background character in the 70s. And when he was first given lines, he had a very deep voice. No, 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 no! Me! Claudius. It wasn't until 1984 when a young puppeteer named Kevin Clash got a hold of Elmo and gave him the voice and personality that millions of children know today. Since then, Elmo has become the center of attention with the inclusion of Elmo's World, a 15 minute long segment in Sesame Street that started in the late 90s. While Elmo is known for being a happy three year old puppet, in recent years one person has brought the character to new lows. Don't use Michael Milken's International Jew brand Leapfrog! Don't use Michael Milken's International Jewish toy Leapfrog! It's made by that filthy International Jew, Michael Milken, the jump spot kingpin! In places such as New York and Los Angeles, there are people that try to find ways to make money off of tourism. And one of the biggest examples of this are people that dress up as famous mascots and take pictures with families. But the people that do this aren't always the greatest society has to offer, with them often harassing and fighting people. Out of all these rowdy men and women, one stands out to be the most famous, that has been known by a lot of names over the years, including Angry Elmo, Evil Elmo, and of course Anti-Semitic Elmo. This one guy has terrorized from coast to coast with his ethnic slurs and aggressive panhandling. This costume wearing man started to gain attention in 2012 in New York City, where he hung out in Central Park and in front of Toys R Us instructing people not to buy Leaf Frog toys, because it was co-owned by Michael Milken, a Jewish businessman who had been accused of racketeering and security fraud. The anti-Jewish remarks are this Elmo's staple. During another incident on Times Square, Elmo went on another tangent, but during this freakout he started spouting to the crowd that Hindus were child rapists. This obviously caused quite a stir, so much so that Shrek had to come over and tell him that he was making all the mascots look bad and that he had to leave. Over the next few months, it seemed as if there was a new video every time you checked of anti-Semitic Elmo making children cry, disturbing the peace, getting the cops called on him, and even being taken away in an ambulance. Soon enough, news stories were being made about this man. Eventually, it was discovered that Elmo's real name was Adam Sandler, and also sometimes referred to as Dan. As people looked in further, they found out he had a bachelor's degree from the University of Oregon, and in the late 90s lived in Cambodia running a pornographic website called Welcome to the Rape Camp, before getting kicked out of the country. Once he came back to America, Mr. Sandler claims he worked at the Girl Scouts of the USA, before ending up as Elmo working for tips on the streets in New York City. Even though he had a new career taking pictures with kids, Adam was still very angry with the Girl Scouts for what he claimed to be their ties with the pharmaceutical industry, leading him in 2013 to receive one year in prison for trying to extort $2 million from the organization. Since Elmo seemed to overstay his welcome in New York, videos and news reports eventually started popping up in San Francisco, where he was known to shake down tours for money and fight with locals. 
This led to many businesses placing signs telling passerbys that Elmo didn't work for them and that you weren't legally required to tip. While anti-Semitic Elmo has bounced around a lot getting arrested on multiple occasions, the last place he has been spotted was Santa Monica in 2015 wearing that same suit even after all these years. And it appears that he still hasn't received any medical treatment. Decades ago, a person like this may have only become known in the local community that had to deal with him. But now with YouTube and other sites, anyone from across the world can follow the footsteps of a 50-year-old man that dresses up in a costume and shouts anti-Jewish propaganda. So anti-Semitic Elmo, welcome to my Internet Hall of Fame. Whether that's a good or bad thing is completely up to you.